The school superintendents are expressing concern over the uncertainty of additional funding. This as time ticks away in the legislative session. Kelly Dean explains why our school districts are losing hope in our top story at six. School districts haven't received SEEK funding since the start of the pandemic three years ago. We were very supportive of the legislature's decision to uh, intervene back in 2020. During this legislative session, lawmakers discussed a way to allocate $10.5 million in excess funds to go towards 27 growing districts. Warren County was set to receive nearly $3 million and Bowling Green, 500000 That funding is critical to help us educate the students we have in our buildings. This was put in House Bill 448. However, the portion of that bill was removed at some point before it was passed by both chambers. And we would just ask that our, our legislators not allow uh, differences amongst adults uh, get in the way of taking care of our most precious resource, which is our kids. And they should never uh, be caught in the middle and used as uh, bargaining chips. Bowling Green Superintendent Gary Fields explained that they have already had to use additional money from their reserve fund as their district continues to grow. That expense has, has already been incurred by the district and we've just used our re reserve funds to pay for that because we want to provide for the students. But our hope is that the state will come through and, and, and give us that money. Meanwhile, Rob Clayton of Warren County Schools explained that while the student population has increased, overall attendance has been down since the pandemic by about 2%. Now, based on the current SEEK funding formula, the district will actually lose money, he explains. This is a serious financial uh, challenge for Warren County Public Schools, unlike any that I've experienced in the 10 years. And again, we've made it very clear for months with our legislators what needs to happen to ensure that we don't continue to, uh, to have a, a funding shortfall. And in addition, we've been advised for more than two years that a correction's coming. Senate Majority Whip Mike Wilson of Bowling Green says he is an advocate of the funding. However, he and other local lawmakers are working with the legislature to come to some sort of compromise. In the state of Kentucky, in the history of our education system, the state has never not funded additional students in a school system. So this would be the first time we would make history by not funding additional students. So uh, that's not the kind of history I, I think the legislature wants to make. It's not the kind of history we want locally. Reporting in Bowling Green, Kelly Dean, WBKO News. Warren County Schools has gained more than 600 students since the pandemic in 2020, and Bowling Green is seeing a growth of 3% each year in its district. The legislative session adjourns on March 30th.